What's up guys, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation. In today's video, we are gonna talk about one of the leading discus throwers in the world, Young Guy Rising Star, and we're gonna go through a six pillar breakdown, so check it out. Right, guys so in so today's video we are going to talk about christian che the slovenian superstar in the men's discus at age 22 this guy had already thrown 70 35 this is this throw here we're going to kind of take a look now we're kicking it off because early season 2022 this guy has put up uh, an opening mark of over 67 meters in what was a winter competition um a little bit colder weather all that kind of stuff so this guy is like phenomenal um fifth at the olympic games world number two in 2021 in terms of distance so this guy's consistency level is off the charts the number of 69 68 67 meter throws was just unbelievable and the guy had an off day throwing 65 plus at the olympics and he got fifth place so the guy is really exciting now again clearly we don't coach christian and we are just going to kind of plug him in and take a look at his throw. So let's play it, and let's just watch his movement. Now, this guy is 6'9", and he is crazy talented, right? So um, here's what we're going to do. Just look. He just gets an incredible amount of pull, big wingspan, really athletic, killer line across the circle. And so now what we're going to do is let's break it down and look at his six pillars. So again, we talk about pillar one. We want to be on balance. We want in our system, we really want to talk about being setting up how the throw is going to work. And again, notice that the key things here are we're setting up the separation and stretch reflex. We want to stay more centered up. So we always want the shoulders moving around the hips, right? So that nice long double radius I call it the discus is long and away and the left arm is long and away so the balance arm right because if you're a lefty it's your right arm all right so now you're gonna notice that he hinges in and this is what we've had an old YouTube video called the Holy Grail pillar two so when you hit this position right this is where you're trying to move out and around the axis look at how long right the left arm is you see everything as he floats in here and so we're kind of highlighting this is what we call pillar two now again remember our six pillar system is a way of teaching the throw and quickly learning unnatural positions the throw happens fast you saw when i played that throw in the very beginning the guy moves lightning he's six nine he's pulling on this discus for days and when you're developing new throwers that's one of the key things understanding this but even as they get more advanced now you're just moving through those positions faster we always talk about two seconds well, remember, this guy, when he gets that discus back to the time it releases out of his hand, we're talking probably 1.35, 1.4 seconds, and a brand new throw is going to be about two seconds. So you spend all this time, that's the difference between a beginner and a more advanced guy. You're hitting these positions with much more detail and speed. Okay, so here's what do we look at. We move around the axis. We keep the shoulder back, the discus back, and this sweep leg is gonna come out nice and wide. If you're on balance, which you see, right, you start to set up movement around that axis. So it's more than just position here and put your leg out. It's understanding that actions are creating reactions. That's the physics. That's what we do with our throwing chain reaction. And that's what the six pillars are all about is to help you kind of see the throw and be able to apply unnatural positions, train unnatural positions and make them more natural. And everybody's got a different learning curve. Had a great interview up on Thrower X with Coach Patty McGrath, side note. And uh, he talked about that. You know, you give Rudy Winkler, the American record holder, he gives him a cue and he can apply it right away. And another athlete, it might take several weeks or a month to apply the same cue. Well, that's why Rudy Winkler is the American record holder. And that's the difference with a lot of these athletes. They're phenomenal. They're freaks. They're the, they're the apex. So keep that in mind and be patient because everybody's got a different learning curve. Okay, so now when we look at 
Christian, right? We set all that up. Big position, and he's moving around. Now you're going to see that pillar three. That sweep stays wide. Look at how long. In the discus, remember, the left arm is a counterbalance to the discus. It's also got a counterbalance to the sweep leg. We talk about this, and this is really important. So if this chest opens too early and you become too rotational with the top, you're moving the top and the bottom together. You're not going to have that linear movement. You're going to have what we call, you're going to be right to rotational. So pillar three is where we call, we say we drop in and apply speed. And so right here, you're going to get, as he gets here, we're going to get pillar four. Now pillar four, watch his discus come from his hip and he gets that sucker up. That sucker is going to come up above, uh, above his uh, shoulder and then one thing that he does is a focal point I've had a lot of debate and I always will encourage people for younger developing throwers be very careful and coaches be very careful with focal points this guy is this is like saying you should be you know you you should play quarterback like Tom Brady it's like yeah Tom Brady's a legend right and it and it takes years to develop these skills it's the same thing there's certain things that certain guys can do that other guys can't this is a cue that you have to be real careful. I have found with developing throwers, a focal point often gets held way too long and the orbit gets thrown off. And instead of a high point, they're holding, it dips the shoulders because they don't understand how to let the lower body move that tension point. Very important. That's a little bit of an advanced tip, but be careful with that. So you'll notice that this seems to be very obvious in his throw. He really holds the head that that seems to be something they're doing now again i'm the outsider just looking at what i think are looking at a, a 70 meter throw uh, i i'm a fan i i see what what i have nothing but respect for this athlete and their coach and what they achieve so i'm just pointing out the things that i see and these are just good general mechanics and you see how it fits into the six pillars all throwers fit into the six pillars that's the point of the system is educating you on how the throw works our drills our throwing progressions all that kind of stuff is designed to create the individual needs because you'll see that in a coaches watching this or throwers you'll know every athlete has it processes information differently interprets the coaching cues differently and so that's what the system is just for clarity okay so when we get here pillar four this is where you see he moves right you notice that this is moving in this is moving to the high point he's not opening that chest is staying back and hips are here really key because he's going to land in pillar five which we call the locking down power so once he lands here right you're keeping still you want that lower body ahead so you saw how this chest was back and forth the discus is up now the discus comes down because it's going to come down around right high point low point and so now you're going to see he's really starting to lead with that lower body into the throw and you're going to see as he goes to pillar six right watch the lower body and watch the hip you see how he's got that hip torqued block foot right just kind of stayed there he's locked this side stops because it, when the radius is out here right you're going to see this should naturally stop if you've maximized the radius and this hip turns around this is here this should stop i see a lot of throwers they pull away from the throw because they're pulling back the radius is not correct when the radius is long everything's going to go out into the direction of the throw and that's what's going to set up your big throws and this is where you see the jump so you see how as he follows through all of his motion goes out he, yes his this side's turning away because there's what we call his transfer of momentum where he's going to transfer all of the body speed to the implement but you want to see out you see a lot of young throwers at this point they're pulling away so they're like turning like this instead of turning like this right that's how he's turning so any rate we just thought it'd be kind of cool to look at who is currently the world leader when you start to see stall and uh simon peterson and all these other guys dan you know when uh frederick dakers and all these guys get going and it's going to be this is this is you know it's going to be a really exciting year i'm sure with another world championships COVID is kind of seem like things are normalizing and so training has been really good but we wanted to just kind of show you some of those key points on how you set up how you move around right and again with our when we're looking at specific phases of the throw we're looking at 
we set up the chain reaction we set up right maximum power this is key pillar two is the holy grail check that video out um when we're here we're dropping and we're applying speed this is the linear side his left and the upper body is getting only rotated by this leg this is the only thing rotational right there so we drop in we apply speed he attacks it it becomes really key now we do what we call the axis transition he's going from that sprint leg to the delivery leg He's slowing down the upper body, accelerating the lower body, right? You got a lot of stuff happening here. You get to the power position right there. You see how he stretches everything? Boom, you got this, this, and then he's going to hit it. There's your, He goes into pillar five, and then he's going to be moving into pillar six. Okay, so that's what you can kind of see. These are the things. Remember, if you're looking to learn more about throwing technique, that's what we do. And again, our whole driver is we want to help coaches and throwers. We want to help the sport. And so that's why we put out content to just have you guys kind of guide where you're at. We do these videos like this because it's cool, a little bit more advanced, but we like to just kind of give our interpretation of what we see. Of course, these guys are probably, they have all kinds of different things. We have no idea exactly what to do, but we can see generally the correct mechanics and the movement that they are repeatedly doing. And that's the goal of all throwers, consistent, good technical positions. And that's what we do with our throwing chain reaction and why we put these YouTube videos out. So hopefully you like this. Be sure to throw some comments below. If you would like to see a comparison of the two top 70 meter guys, Daniel Stahl versus Che, be sure to throw that in the comments and we will kind of see how many respond. We've had some DMs uh, asking, but I have a feeling we'll have that and we'll do a kind of comparison and look at two different styles, how the six pillars will still apply, but styles will differ on two very similar athletes looking at Olympic gold medalists and uh, our Che, who were one and two in this meet last year in Cortan. Okay, so thanks so much, guys. Be sure again to hit that like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we will see you on the next video.